Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. Today I thought I would share with you some foolproof winter outfit formulas that you probably already have in your closet. I think this is a very weird time of year when we stop wanting to put so much effort into what we wear, or if you're like me and you live somewhere really cold, it's kind of hard to get dressed in a way that feels really intentional and good, to be completely honest. So as someone who lives in one of the coldest capitals in the world, um, I feel like I have a pretty good sense of the art of winter. Uh, and because I know a lot of you are watching from all over, I thought I would share with you winter formulas that work for different uh, winter climates, depending on where you live. Before jumping into the outfit formulas, I chose four different winter climates based on a little bit of research, and I've divided them into four very well thought out and very scientifically titled uh, types of winter. The first is what I call hot winter, where the average temperature is around maybe 12 to 18 degrees Celsius. Next, I've titled mild winter, which is 0 to 10 degrees. The next I am calling winter winter, with a range of about 0 degrees Celsius to maybe minus 10. And the final category is called no thank you, which is anywhere below minus 15 degrees Celsius. So now that we've got those sorted out, let's jump on into hot winter. So for these warmer winter climates, I've chosen three different outfit formulas, and the first one is my absolute go-to for this type of weather. It's pretty basic, but it can be swapped out with so many different pieces. So the basic formula is jeans or trousers if you want. This could also be swapped out for a skirt if you're more of a skirt person, plus a t-shirt. I prefer something with sleeves because I feel like this time of year is still a bit chilly. You don't really want bare shoulders, but of course you could replace it for something sleeveless if you are more on the hotter end of that scale. And then finally topping it off with a blazer. I like this because you can take the blazer on and off depending on how cool or warm it is. It looks sharp and polished but you still get that casual vibe with the t-shirt. And then you can essentially swap all of these separates out and create a whole number of combinations. My next outfit formula for this type of climate is one that I've only recently started to test out, but I really like the way it looks. Again, using trousers or denim, which is my favorite, but you could also swap that bottom separate out for a really cute skirt if you're more of a skirt person. Don't worry, I have a dress look coming up just after this for this climate. And instead of that blazer t-shirt combo, your topper is a very light blouse. I think this is the perfect season to wear long sleeve, light and loose and really soft and delicate pieces. You still get a little bit of coverage on your arms, but because it's a nice lighter fabric, you don't have to worry about getting too hot. And if you're working on the lower end of the spectrum, or perhaps it's evening and you want to have a little bit more warmth, then you can throw on a sweater but wear it as a scarf. That way it adds a little bit of layering, it still feels wintry, but I especially love this one because it can be elevated or made more casual just by swapping out the footwear. My final outfit formula for this warmer winter climate is a really beautiful dress. It could be a dress of any style. Your preference, it doesn't matter, the silhouette, worn with a jacket over top. I'm distinguishing jacket from blazer here because I think the jacket gives it a little bit more of a playful and also wintry edge. I think blazers over dresses look really beautiful in the fall. I think that small distinguishing factor makes it feel as though your closet is a lot more abundant than it actually is. By taking on or off the jacket, you've got that versatility depending on sort of what end of the spectrum you're on in this mild winter climate. If the proportions in your body don't work well with a short jacket, however, you could also opt for a really beautiful long cardigan and play with the hemlines. The final piece to this outfit formula is a pair of boots. I love it when a boot is tall and paired with a lower hemline. I feel like this is a really cool, like, boho 70s vibe, and for the record, these boots are actually my mom's. I don't have a pair of knee-high boots, the only ones I have are like cowboy and they're a very interesting yellow color that isn't actually very versatile, but I bought them about nine or ten years ago, so I wasn't very forward-thinking at the time. Now for mild winter, I think this is my absolute 
favorite temperature for winter. I love it when it hovers like just above zero so you get those beautiful delicious layers but you don't have to like worry about your nose freezing off entirely. This first outfit formula is one that I wore a lot when I was doing these outdoor patio dates with friends because it was the only way to be socially distanced. I would wear denim with a heavier gauge sweater plus an overcoat on top plus a pair of booties. I like this because you can really tweak this outfit formula and swap out all of your big chunky sweaters. You can swap out so many different kinds of denim with different kinds of booties. What's important though is that whatever coat you're wearing should be more of an overcoat or something that has a lot of room because if you're wearing a chunkier sweater, you really want to actually be able to move your arms. Also optional for this is wearing a complete set of thermals underneath, which no one will see or know that you're wearing because you're completely covered. Of course you can add scarves, gloves, and hats depending on how cold you get. If you want to spice this up a little bit more, then you can add a really cool belt. I always try to make sure that my belts carry equal weight or are of an equal scale so that they don't get lost in all of those heavy textures and fabrics. This next outfit formula is another one that I love. This formula goes as follows. Skirt plus heavy gauge sweater plus overcoat plus boots. The tights and the height of boot are totally up to you. I personally would prefer to wear tights especially if you're at the lower end of the spectrum. When we shot this, the temperature was hovering just around zero and I was wearing a thermal top underneath my heavier gauge sweater and I was super toasty, even though my jacket was open. This is also another one that works beautifully if you want to add more layers like a scarf or a pair of gloves or a hat. When it comes to the footwear, I again personally chose a boot that was taller because it allowed me to stay warmer, but you could also dress this look up by going with higher heeled booty or even an over the knee boot if you want. That's why I just love outfit formulas. Once you have that blueprint, it's so easy to just swap things out with whatever you have in your closet. Okay, winter, winter. Do you like my incredibly accurate description? I'm starting to get serious here, a little bit colder. When it's hovering around the warmer end of the spectrum here, like just below zero, I still love the look of, of an open coat, but it's not the most practical option. So this outfit formula, and actually all of the outfit formulas in this climate, I always just start with thermals underneath. I'm always worried about being cold and I run cold, so that's how I start it. So this one goes as such a pair of jeans, but it could be a pair of trousers if you like. In fact, wool trousers are probably better in the colder temperatures because denim, I find, if you're, you know, if you're waiting at a bus stop or if you're standing still for a little bit too long, they kind of tend to freeze and then they crinkle and it just makes you cold. So a wool trouser or a denim, with a more fitted or medium gauge sweater, remember you've got your thermal underneath, plus a jacket, this could also be a blazer or a very warm chunky cardigan, plus an overcoat on top of that. And then on the feet, a pair of boots. I love wearing two jackets around this temperature. I think it's a really easy way to adjust how warm you get because you have those extra layers that you can play with. You can also add, of course, your scarf, hat, and gloves. Here is where you wanna coordinate your accessories. I love coordinating my footwear with at least my gloves, my hat, or my purse. If you've got those two or three elements that work together, doesn't matter how bundled you are, you're still gonna look like you put some effort and thought into your winter look. This next outfit formula is for those of you who still like to wear skirts and dresses even in the colder temperatures. So of course it always starts at this point with your thermals head to toe. This one goes tall boot, long skirt, sweater, and belted coat. I think Knowing that you're going to belt your coat as part of the outfit formula is really important here. It's really part of the overall look. And of course, I'm not adding winter accessories here because I think those are really where the pops of personality come in. You could choose mittens instead of gloves, or you could choose a really cool snood instead of a regular scarf. Hat, of course, because it's cold and that's where you lose all your heat. But I really think you can add so much personality here. This third outfit formula is another one that I think I wear the most in the winter, I would say, simply because I tend to wear a lot of black head to toe. So this is a monochrome base. You could be wearing 
a dress that is all one color, separates that are all one color. This one is really easy to tailor to you. The point is that whatever you're wearing underneath is all one color. And then on top of that, a vest or even a blazer in a different accent color, plus a contrasting coat. I think what makes this outfit formula pop is the color contrast. Finally, no thank you winter dressing, which in my opinion doesn't really require an outfit formula and more requires just prioritizing keeping yourself warm. So many people give style tips to not look like the Michelin men during winter, and I'm not knocking anybody here, but when it's that cold, I don't think there's anything wrong with the Michelin man. I bet you he's never cold. And also, puffer jackets are really on trend right now. I mean, everybody looks like the Michelin man, on purpose. So when it comes to this kind of cold winter dressing, I prioritize being warm so that I know I'll be warm if I have to shovel myself out of a parking lot if necessary. I throw on my biggest, coziest, fluffiest winter parka. I add my scarf, I put on my trapper hat to really get into the spirit of staying warm, huge gloves, and away you go. I think it can actually be kind of fun to just lean in to the whole being super bundled, like kind of the way everyone leaned into loungewear and sweatsuits. Like maybe we can call it, maybe we call it winter core, you know? I don't know. So there you have it. Those are my foolproof outfit formulas for different winter climates. I hope you liked them. I hope you found them helpful. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!